If you clicked on this video, that means that there's an energetic match and you probably believe in manifestation or have witnessed for yourself that manifestation is real. But what if I told you that this one manifestation technique can help you bring your manifestations into reality and help you align yourself with your goals that you want to achieve? Stay tuned. If you've been watching my YouTube videos for a while, you can already tell that I'm very open to the ideas of trying different things that could help me align myself with the goals and desires that I want to manifest and bring into my reality. So I finally found that one technique that specifically works great for myself. And that manifestation technique is water manifestation. Using water and affirmations to really bring your desires into fruition. If you believe that everything is energy, then you will also agree with me when I say that water actually holds a certain vibration. And your words can actually tamper with that vibration of the water. A Japanese scientist named Dr. Emoto conducted two experiments using water and rice. The first experiment that he conducted using rice was to really test if words can actually affect how certain things grow and if it could actually affect things on a molecular level. And that's why he decided to use rice in this experiment. So how he actually conducted this experiment was he filled three beakers of rice and then poured water into each beaker, equal rice, equal water, and he actually put a cover and a lid on all of the beakers. Every day for 30 days, Dr. Emoto would speak the same word into each beaker just to see if it would affect the rice and the water on a molecular level. Now on the first beaker, he would say thank you. On the second beaker, he would say you're an idiot. And on the third beaker, he wouldn't say anything at all. The one that was left alone just rotted naturally and as you guys could see it was only the top layer that was really rotted but the second one was shocking the water was not even in the container anymore it had dried up or something like that and the whole thing was just black I couldn't even tell that it was rice at the end of it and the first one looked like it was only a few days old so it was just really shocking that he was able to prove that words can affect things on a molecular level because everything contains energy and everything has a certain vibration. For the second experiment, Dr. Emoto used water and wanted to prove if water had memory or if our words can also affect water on a molecular level because he had already proved that water can affect rice and can make it rot, can turn it black. Now this experiment was very revolutionary to the point where Dr. Emoto even wrote a book. I'll have the book name up on the screen. The scientific study that Dr. Emoto used was very similar to the rice experiment. He had three different beakers, he filled it to the same level of water, and he repeated different affirmations into each one. Now, after he repeated those affirmations, he decided to freeze the water, but the one that he was saying I'm grateful, um, the first beaker, that one had such a beautiful, crystallized like snowflake type of structure to it and then the second one was very distorted was very very weird looking and then the third one also didn't really look that much affected but it was the second one with the negative affirmations with the negative words that looked very like spirally and you could visibly see a difference between all three of them. The water manifestation technique, you guys, is super powerful and it is backed up by different scientific studies. Specifically, how I use the water manifestation technique is similar to Dr. Emoto's study. I take a glass of water, I speak affirmations into the water, and then I drink the water. Affirmations that I'm trying to attract 
into my life. I ended up manifesting money into my life within four days of doing this affirmation. It wasn't so much so that things just came to me. That's not how it's gonna work. I actually had to shift my own vibration and align myself with attracting this desire into my own reality. Now, how I specifically did that was I also implemented scripting and I also visualized when I was repeating these affirmations into this cup, I would close my eyes, I would repeat the affirmations, and I would visualize certain money opportunities coming into my life, me receiving unexpected checks, and that is the form of which these things happen for me. Even though some of the checks were truly unexpected, I still visualize certain things. Even after the two weeks were up and I wasn't doing this anymore, money opportunities started to flow into me because I had put out that desire that I wanted to attract it into my life. So as you could see, not only was I speaking my affirmations into the water and drinking it, I implemented other manifestation techniques such as visualization and scripting to really make sure that this came to me and I really had to level up myself and really align myself with that goal in order for it to come to me. So with that being said, I really hope that this video was extremely helpful for you and if it was, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.